Bowman here from BW1.com. We're going to do a review of the Android 4.0 update for the Epic 4G Touch for Sprint. One of the last phones here in the U.S., the Galaxy S2 phones here in the U.S. to finally get Android 4.0. The update just rolled out yesterday, and it's going to be staggering out to people as as uh, as the weeks go on here, so that everybody gets updated to the new operating system. So let's go ahead and start off here with the review. So one of the things I did notice here is that uh, I might not be doing it right now, but what I did notice beforehand is a bit of a delay when I was hitting the power button. Hit the power button and you have this delay before it turns on and it was really lagging at one point too. Might have been the switch from going from 3G to the Wi-Fi. Now I'm just on Wi-Fi because Sprint's 3G and 4G is just terrible in the area that I'm in. So it's just easy to do things off of data and Wi-Fi for this uh, demonstration here. We'll go ahead and unlock it. I'll turn it on here. One of the things you do have that's pretty cool is you now on Android 4.0 you have access to the to the uh, notification center outside of the lock screen, so that's pretty cool to have. Go ahead and unlock the phone here, and um, pretty much we'll hit home. Go ahead and hit home right here, and you pretty much have the same look. Not too much has changed as far as the look is concerned, sort of how TouchWiz looks and such on the new update here. Like I said, you do have access to the notification center on the outside, but what they've changed here is your ability to actually now eliminate specific notifications or just clear them all out in general, which you can do easily right there. Another cool thing is you pretty much have the same thing before. They did change the way the 4G icon looks, but the 4G server is pretty much the same. This does have WiMAX and it's not really good in terms of uh, getting a great connection, unfortunately. Go ahead and go into the settings here. We'll see here. And pretty much nothing has really changed and you still get the same options before, but we'll go ahead and go into the uh, settings right here. And this is pretty much where a lot of the core changes happen. Now you have that wireless and networking sections you see in stock Android 4.0. Now you have that here, Wi-Fi, 4G, Bluetooth, and data usage. You can hit that icon uh, section there and it'll bring up pretty much where you can turn on and off mobile data. You can set your limit if you're on a limited plan and you can kind of guide that around as you want to where you want your warning to set and maybe where you want to cut off if you reach that limit depending if you're on a um, unlimited data plan. You also have the ability to see what apps are using the most data, so that's pretty nice to have. You can actually also add uh, data roaming. You can restrict background data if you want to, which we don't want that to do. We can also have it uh, show Wi-Fi usage as well too. So that's pretty cool to have that section there, especially with a lot of uh, meter data going on right now. Going on the more, they pretty much put the rest of the stuff in here from airplane mode, v VPN, tethering, Wi-Fi direct, roaming, Kia Air, stuff like that. You also have the uh, storage change as well too, to more of the, the Android 4.0 look. I really like the way it's laid out because it really now, now it tells you not only how much storage you have, but what items are taking that storage here. So it's calculating along here. I found that's found that's pretty cool that it's a, that has the ability to do that. Pretty nice. And also we have here, we'll scroll down. Now system updates are outside of where about phone is. Now normally you would go to about phone and you would see system updates. Just to show you here, it is on Android 4.0.4. .4. You can check your status and stuff here. It's pretty much what you have in this section here. Interesting enough, the status is in, is in, the, in, is in the stock look, which is pretty interesting. But um, we'll go ahead and hit back here and we'll um, hit back one more time. And now basically, if you're on Android 2.3, you want to get the system updates. You're going to see a section that says, says update Android. You want to tap on that to go out and check for the update. It might already be, already be downloading it. If it isn't, you can hit that and it'll probably grab the manual update. If neither one of those work, you might just want to wait wait, wait a little bit. The update's eventually going to come through. They kind of stagger this out and such. So um, don't worry. You're definitely going to get the update soon enough here. So that's that's pretty much the kind of the core changes here as far as as, as Android four point it's in the settings section is pretty much where you're gonna see the real visual change. Another one of the cool things you give in Android 4.0 is access to the Android 4.0 Gmail application, which is one of the best email applications for Gmail out there. What's really nice about it is you get the new sort of look and feel. You guys have seen that before on other devices, but um, what's pretty cool here is let's say we want to start a new message and such here, and we want to do start typing. You notice here on the top, I don't remember seeing this in 2.3 before, but you can see here at the top, you actually can select your input method. You can change between Google. Samsung keypad, Google Voice, you can see swipe and all those things like that as well too. As you can choose between which ones you want to choose from to get your type on there. So I thought that's pretty cool that they added that there. Another great thing that you can do now is a new multitasking option. Now, you know, normally what you would just do is you there would be like sort of a, a, a multitask button on Android 4.0, but since this uses the uh, capacitive buttons here at the bottom, you just hold the home button down that you're normally used to doing and that'll bring up where all your tasks are running and you can just easily close them out just by swiping 
back and forth like that as you can see here easily enough just close out all the tasks you can actually access a task manager here as well too to bring in bring in here and not too much has changed here you can pretty much see the same stuff that you previously saw before so that's a really good addition that they added to added to the Android 4.0 here uh, for the update but the cool thing is we'll actually go here into uh, let's see if we can find here we're sprint IDs sprint ID pack which is oh I just passed it there it is at sprint ID pack if we go to the my ID which is the plain one you'll get the stock and your 4.0 look for your home screens you'll get the Google uh, search thing stuck here at the top so you can't really move that around so you basically get the stock uh, stock look and feel for the most part as far as the home screen is concerned you're still gonna have to um, deal with sort of touch with and stuff like that within other elements of the UI but it's pretty cool that they at least have this option in your uh, in your menu will look very similar to the stock option as well too your widgets and such as well are there let's go ahead and uh, let's choose a widget to kind of mess around with because one of the cool things you can do is resize widget widgets so we'll put this here on the desktop and uh, we'll pick uh, all items as the feed here for this. Got a lot of things I need to check. But what's cool here is you can also just easily resize them just like that. Something you was able to do before in Android 2.3 with TouchWiz, but now it's pretty much built into Android 4.0 to easily be able to do this and to remove just simple as that right there. So that is really the, the core differences really here between um, sort of Android, uh, Android, um, 2.3 and Android 4.0 as far as the update to Android 4.0 on the uh, Epic 4G Touch here. Uh, battery life is roughly about the same from what I've noticed here. Let me actually go into the settings here and show you guys something. One of the things I always check is sort of the sort of the standby drain. See what happens if the phone just kind of drains itself on standby. And uh, I thought that was pretty much corrected in Android 4.0. The Galaxy S3 has some pretty good uh, standby times. You forget to just put it on the charger and such, but um. Go into here, go into battery, and I left it on overnight, and it pretty much drained out 42% of that battery. It was pretty much from the Android OS itself. So maybe TouchWiz, I'm not exactly sure what it is, because this is using a different version of TouchWiz than what you see on the newer Galaxy S phones with the Galaxy S3. So that could be the reason why. But I was, I left, uh, left it, just left it off the charger. It was at about 90%, and then I woke up this morning it was at about 67. So it took a huge chunk down. Really, not exactly sure why. Wi-Fi was not just had a normal 3G and everything and such there so I'm not exactly sure what kind of happened there but so the battery life doesn't improve too much the um, responsiveness pretty much the same as before not it there's a little lag here and there and that could be just because of um it's just on a bit of older hardware. It's still capable hardware just a little bit older than before and um, one of the things you definitely do notice here is that coming from a lot of Android 4.0 devices that have um, 720p displays you really do notice here when you start going back to some of these older devices that have uh, a 40 by 480 that are not HD resolution you really start to see it seems a little clunky it seems a little just not as sharp as you would like it to be but that's just more just because of the you know screen differences and all the, all the new screens coming out with 720p I just noticed that because you know I review a lot of phones and and you just kind of notice the difference of going from Android 4.0 and HD displays to ones without it so that'll be something to notice there too but overall, uh, definitely a really cool update and welcome edition. What you really are getting here is access to Android 4.0. The apps are going to take advantage of um, Android 4.0 and some of the other cool features that you get with it as well. Better stability, better, like I said, better apps. The apps work a whole lot better. And overall, just uh, overall, it's going to just extend the phone a little bit longer there for you past normally the two years there. So definitely have to give the update a thumbs up here and um, also when you give one of this video a thumbs up so just give it a like there as well to subscribe to our YouTube page follow us on Twitter become a fan of our Facebook fan page check us out on Google Plus and uh, Pinterest as well too we're Empire Avenue we're pretty much everywhere is in terms of social networking so definitely check all those places out and our main website at bw1.com and always remember to live your tech world in high definition